Hello! Today, I am on my way to Everything Electric South 2024. Now, if you don't know what that is, don't worry, because I will explain as I go along, and we'll also just have a general chat about things. I'm sure I will mention EVs, might mention renewable stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're not allowing me to get in it, unfortunately, but it is a nice looking car. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't believe you're here. Well, I'm in an Ionic 5N. My, uh, my dog is getting on a bit. She's 14 years and nine months. When you get to that sort of age as a dog, every month counts. And she decided this morning in her infinite wisdom, that it would be a really brilliant idea to go out to the toilet about quarter past four. And that in itself is fine. That, Thank oh. you, Alan. Uh, on the M27, we've got one lane closed on. and that's speed. So I let my dog out to uh, do what she needed to do at quarter past four this morning. And then she decided uh, in her infinite wisdom that it now would be a really good time to have a breakfast, uh, which of course, my wife and I didn't really uh, think that was a very good idea. So we took kind of both of us, uh, took a relay race of kind of putting her back into bed. There used to be a time when you could say to her in a sort of sternish voice, go to bed. But unfortunately, being as she is of advanced years, she has lost her hearing and uh, most of her sight has gone as well. Her nose still works and she very much still enjoys eating, as you can probably tell. Uh, but sadly, it means that you can't kind of, you know, give her any instructions of any sort anymore. Uh, anyway, we gave up about 20 past six and both got up and had a very early breakfast ourselves. Uh, and my dog had a nice breakfast and then proceeded to go back to sleep, which is very good. So uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna be quite, I feel absolutely cream crackered and it's not even half past eight in the morning. So yeah, thanks Amber. I've got a feeling that when I'm up there, there are uh, everything electric. They have some panels that you can go and sit in uh, and listen to discussions about different things. And I'm uh, planning to go to three of those this afternoon, at least I was, but I'm just wondering whether the panels will be able to continue above the sound of my snoring. So I'm driving through the new forest at the moment and uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Well, I'm very lucky that when I leave home, I, I'm on the coast, so I can sort of, you know, can see the sea sometimes, depending on which direction I'm going. Sort of wave at the sea, goodbye sea, and then heading up through, uh, through the forest. So it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, the only problem is that because the roads are not exactly wide in certain parts of the forest, that there is often uh, a hold up around Lindhurst. If you know the area, Lindhurst can get busy, can't it? So I'm, I'm probably gonna sit in traffic at Lindhurst for a bit. Uh, and there was a travel report that came over the radio not long ago saying that there was a hold up on the M27 as well. So I don't know whether I'm gonna get there. I plan to get to uh, elect everything electric about half past nine because it opens at 10 and I thought there might be a bit of a queue to get in. But you know, if I'm, if I'm not quite there when it opens, it, it's not the end of the world. I have, because I'm kind of organized like that, worked out an itinerary of what I'm gonna go and see. But uh, anyway, what I was gonna say about driving before I got distracted myself is that um, when I've made videos, when I've been sort of venturing out, uh, I've often said, I wonder whether I'm gonna rapid charge today and you won't be surprised to learn that this is another one of those journeys where I am venturing out and I will be able to go all the way there and all the way home again without having to rapid charge. There's plenty of range in this car and I didn't even charge it up to 100%. I don't need, I don't need it. There's more than enough range in this vehicle. I charge it up to 90, but to be honest with you, 50% would have been enough to get me there and back. So, uh, but I've got a little bit in, in the, in the, a little bit in the tank, I was gonna say, a little bit in the, whatever the EV equivalent is, uh, that will keep me going very nicely. Thank you very much. So everything electric uh, south is a show that is all about everything electric. The clues in the name, but actually, it's, it didn't used to be called that. It used to be called the Fully Charged Show Live, and they have a YouTube channel. Uh, they have two, Fully Charged and uh, which I think is a podcast. It is a podcast because I listen to the podcast actually, but they do a YouTube version of it as well, and the Everything Electric. And they do. They're talking about really the transition away from fossil fuels. So it's not just EVs like this one, it's also uh, heat pumps and electric 
boilers and solar panels and actually all sorts of other things as well as all sorts of interconnected industries as well and they're all there uh, they have test drives of different cars and e-bikes and all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah I think I believe there's going to be a cyber truck there today which will be very interesting to see that in the flesh and I'm, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to going I was going to go to last year's show I bought a ticket to last year's show and I was going to go and last year it was in April this year 2024 is in October so it's 18 months ago and I was going to go to the show have a ticket all, very, all excited I'd only owned my EV for about four months then I'd had a heat pump for six months so I was quite new into all of this stuff and I had solar panels for a long long time but you know the, the really big stuff that I got recently was, was quite new to me and I was looking forward to you know it was quite a good time to go to the show really anyway about uh, oh, around that time of the show, sadly, my dog, the one who woke me up early in the morning uh, today, uh, she uh, got really quite seriously ill, and I had to uh, get a, a referral to a specialist vet uh, here in the New Forest, actually. And uh, uh, they phoned uh, about a week, I suppose, before the Everything Electric show to say, can you come? Actually, it wasn't a week, it was less than that. Anyway, it doesn't matter to say can I come on this particular day and it was the day that I bought the ticket for uh, for fully charged life so of course I wasn't going to go I was going to go to uh, to the vets and I made a video all about actually my dog's uh, illness uh, it's on the chat you might you might think from the title that it's a bit depressing actually I've given you a clue she's still alive and well so um, yeah I think you know it's a more optimistic and, and upbeat video than you might expect uh, anyway so I couldn't go and I took out the insurance on the ticket because you can pay an extra couple of quid and get insurance. And of course, this won't surprise you to learn that the insurance didn't cover that particular scenario. So I never got my money back. Now, this time I bought my ticket. It was 18 months I've had to wait for the, for the show. 18 months. And I, I bought my ticket. I'm very excited. And then about a fortnight ago, my in-laws went to a party and some selfish git had turned up to the party with what they thought, I guess, was a streaming cold. Um, and it wasn't. It was COVID. So my in-laws then went down with COVID. Uh, my wife had given them a lift uh, a couple of days after the party and before they went down with anything. Uh, so then my wife thought, oh, great, you know, am I going to pick it up? She, they weren't in the car with her for long, but, you know, you don't have to be exposed to it for long, do you? Any of these things to pick them up. And she started feeling a little bit iffy. And I thought, oh, that's great. Uh, I was okay. But anyway, to cut a long story short, she was doing COVID tests. I've also been doing COVID tests as well, even though I feel okay. Because, I mean, you can be asymptomatic with these things, can't you? And I don't want to spread, I don't want to be a selfish git and spread these things around if I've got it. But I'm very pleased to say that she didn't get it and neither did I. So I am able to go to fully um, everything electric. But I, I had a feeling there for a moment. I thought, oh no, am I going to be two years on the trot where I don't get to go to the show. So I'm very pleased to say that that hasn't happened and I am on my way there. And I'm very excited to be going. So I'm just arriving at, uh, at Everything Electric South and uh, there's an awful lot of EVs. I was driving in, there's a Tesla behind me, there's a Tesla in front of me. I saw a Nero as well, I think it's immediately in front of that. So, um, it, which isn't surprising, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, the trip up actually was really good. There was no hold up in Lyndhurst and there was no hold up on the M3. I just shot all the way up here. It's been great. Uh, the show starts at 10 and it's, Quarter, not even quarter 210 so I've made really good time and I'm really looking forward to getting into the show
So I'm at the Nissan Aria stand and I'm looking at the Aria Nismo, which is a new version of the Aria. It's a little bit more souped up than the one that I've got because let's face it, mine, it goes quickly and I'm quite impressed with it, but this one goes not to 60 in something like three seconds. It's a bit bonkers really. Uh, they're not allowing me to get in it, unfortunately, but it is a nice looking car. It looks like an Aria, of course it does, but it has this kind of red thing going on which is quite cool. It's growing on me. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but it looks quite nice. Um, and they've done something weird with the air vents as well that I can see. That's got something weird going on there that's different to mine. But it still is a Nissan Aria, let's be honest. And uh, yeah, this is like the next generation of it. And look who I've bumped into. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, this is Andy, who runs uh, his Mr. EV. It's a much better channel than this one, so be sure to check it out. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Are you having a nice time? Lovely, thank you very much. Um, we used to work together a long time ago. A very, very long time ago. In a previous life. Yeah. Yeah. But I had hair then. Yes, and I, I wasn't grey. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, very true. So, but no, yes, I can't believe you're here. I know, I can't believe I'm here either. Yeah. I was going to come last year, as I was saying earlier on, and didn't make it. But um, yeah, I'm here now. Yes. So what are you doing? Are you going to go to yes. see any of the panels or anything like that? Uh, I saw one earlier. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. And I, I actually asked a question. Wow. I know, I was getting a bit nervous. Get I asked a question of Mr. BYD. Oh. And um, and yeah, now I'm just schmoozing and um, talking to Heatable because yeah. just moved house and he's sold the band yeah. and the rest of it. Ah, so, yeah. yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, listen to some myth busting shortly, so that should be fun. Are you gonna do any myth busting of your own? Uh, I don't know. I I try not to. I just get very angry. Are you gonna do any stand up comic? Uh, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you. And do you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, and you. Inside a BYD, this is an Atto, I think, an Atto 3. It's quite nice. Well, I was just sitting inside a BYD, that BYD Atto 3 over there, and somebody said to me, uh, that I'd never seen before, said, um, oh, there's a Nissan Aria driver. <laughs> it turns out they watch the channel. So uh, there we are. That's a bit weird. That's never happened to me before. And then I had to make polite conversation with someone I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. I mean, it was very nice, though. They said, keep up the good work. That's nice. That's very nice of them. Well, I'm in an Ionic 5N. Now, I've got a bit of a soft spot for Ionic 5. It was the very first electric car I ever drove. Uh, in fact, it was the first electric car I'd ever even been in. Uh, and this is the updated model. That was two years ago when I drove the Ionic 5. The N is very it's different. It looked, the, the dash actually is completely different from what I remember from the Ionic 5. This is the souped up version of it. So I'm quite interested to take it out for a drive and see what it's like. Very good, yeah, enjoying myself here in the Ionic 5N. So just uh, took the Ionic 5N out for a test drive and I have to say I really enjoy it. And you might not know this, um, but you might. The Ionic 5N has this rather crazy feature when you're, you're driving it along, you can optionally, you can turn this off, but you can have engine sounds uh, and it, it makes the sound as if you're changing gear. But not only that, and you had that switched on, but as you're driving along, the car actually kind of jolts a bit as, you're, as, as if it's changing gear and you can hear the sound of an engine and it does sound like an engine would sound coming from, you know, if it was outside the car and you're inside the car, if that makes any kind of sense. And even as you were sort of slowing up at a roundabout, it would be that kind of like misfiring that you get. And there's sort of all the, you know, the sound of the exhaust pipe going. Like that. 
that is as you're turning Wait, I have to say, it did make me smile. And I think maybe I was chatting to the guy, Mark, who was taking me out on this, uh, on this test drive. And I was saying to him, well, I suppose if that encourages some petrol heads to make the switch and they like that, then great. Because I mean, it drives like a hot hatch, in all honesty. It, it's, it's, I'm surprised, actually. It's not the sort of feature that I like. I like the fact that EVs are quiet. For me, that's, that's kind of the important part of an EV. It's one of the things I really like about them. And the whole gear change thing, I mean, that's weird. And one of the things I really like about EVs is the fact that you put your foot down on the accelerator and it goes from zero to whatever completely smoothly. But not everyone will have that opinion. So if it can persuade some people to make the switch from combustion cars to an electric because it's making a sound and pretending, doing an impression of a combustion car, then, well, great. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and you'll know when the next video goes live. And if you're in the UK and you want to get £50 off your energy bill, you can sign up for Octopus Energy using the referral link on screen now. I'll get £50 too. Years ago where solid state batteries will have them in August of this year, in 2010. But it, it doesn't fit into their system because it's too left-wing, too liberal. Now, it wouldn't be right, really, to have a, a, a visit to an electric car show. Well, OK, electric show, but cars do feature. Without me, at least, uh, there we are having a, a brief shot of my aria uh, in the background so thank you there's an extremely dirty byd seal <laughs> i mean if you had one you'd wash it wouldn't you i mean come on So that's it. I've had a great time at everything electric. Got to drive the Ionic 5N, which was weird, but fun. And also got to kind of talk to some interesting people, hear some interesting discussions, and just generally nerd out, which is what an exhibition like this is all about. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be more on the channel, of course, in the near future. So do hit like, hit subscribe. And of course, I will see you for another one really soon.